typically passed by a city or a village council. These laws are called, are they ordinances, HOA rules, deed restrictions, or covenants? What do you think? That's kind of an interesting one. What do you guys think? We got All A's. Right, we got A's and A's. We got ordinances. Yeah. Ordinances, usually local laws. Statutes are more like state laws, right? Mm-hmm. Don't forget those. And all the other three are private land use controls. Private, private. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Candace, you want to do the next one? Fred has been hoping to move into his new home soon. He receives a document that the property has been completed, inspected, and found to be habitable. What has he received? A quick claim deed, a title certificate, a certificate of occupancy, or a list pendants? Yeah, we got some right, C's. We got C's. We got C's. Certificate of occupancy. Okay, prop quiz. Who would give Candace a title certificate if, or a certificate of title or title certificate, if she asked who the proper owner of my home was if she was buying it? Who would give that to her? Ooh. See if you can stump them. The attorney, right? The attorney. An attorney's opinion of who the rightful owner is is our title certificate or certificate of title. All right, the owner of a property places a condition in the deed that there can be no new buildings erected on the property for 20 years. What is this called? Is this police power, governmental restriction, easement, or deed restriction? Yeah, these are kind of tricky. We don't, you know what? We don't really have a whole lot of these. No, not in the other uh, batch. Oh, these are good. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a deed restriction. It is a private control, a private control. Like Candace just said, the deed restrictions, the covenant, CC and R's, those kinds of things are private rather than governmental control. All right, Candace, you're next. Well, a lot of water. The National <laughs> Environmental Policy Act requires federal agencies prepare blank for any development project that the federal agencies could prohibit or regulate. Is it a township master plan? Is it a planned unit development? Is it an environmental impact statement? Is it a tax abatement or is it an empty cup and I'm thirsty? We'll let you get water on the next one. Okay, I'll do well, that. I think I have some in reaching distance. Let's see. Reaching distance. Yeah, usually I'm prepared like that. This one kind of has some people thinking here. It's like, panelist, what do you think? See? All right. Yes. The environmental impact statement. What would happen to the environment if we allowed this to happen? Examples of zoning restrictions include all of the following, except erosion and accretion, a requirement that a percentage of the land in the area be used for low-income housing, required distance between buildings, or building height limitations. Which ones of these are zoning restrictions? They, three of them are. One of them isn't. One so, of them just our isn't or like except. The other. Erosion and accretion, because we know those are water words. Such yes. are words. All right. The distance required between buildings. What's another word for that? Anybody remember this? Like if I have to be so far away from Candace's house, if she's my next door neighbor to build my house. It rhymes with rep rat. But <laughs> you tell me. It rhymes with rep rat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Taylor got it. Was it was a good hint. back. What about if we're transitioning from commercial property to residential and there's a green space requirement? Which one is that? I'm not going to hint this time. Uh, Rufferone. <laughs> Rufferone. <laughs> well, first, <laughs> we've been up too long today. <laughs> no, we really have. Buffer <laughs> zone, because you're buffering the uses there, so it's a there buffer. <laughs> All right, Candace, All right. this is yours. <laughs> a permit obtained from the local zoning authority, allowing the holder to use property or build a structure in a way that violates the zoning ordinances called a... Is it a substandard use, a non-conforming use, a variance, or conditional use? Ooh. We've got a lot of C's here. Got the C variance. and C, of course, is the right answer. A variance. You're basically going to have to prove that their, their rule is causing you a hardship and they will grant you a variance. Remember, non-conforming use is something that would have been grandfathered in. And a conditional use is putting conditions on the use like, Hey, it's commercial, but this level's of commercial. I'm dividing a city into zones, allowing different types of land use in different zones, is known as is a regulation Z, a sheet, 
police power or zoning? Which one do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Yes, we divide it into zones. That is zoning. But when we put together a blank plan for the city, it talks about where all the zones are going to be. What do we call that when we plan ahead for the city? Remember anybody? 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 Master plan. Jasmine got it. Yeah. yeah. What's yes. the other name master for it? Plan. Yay. Does anybody know the other name for it? It's the master plan, but there's another word. Mm, I don't remember. No, oh. It's comprehensive plan. Hey, uh -huh. Stacy got it. Good job, Stacy. Comprehensive not, plan. Go, Stacy. Very go, good. Go, Stacey. I would go, not Stacey. Stacey. That. All know, right. I'm you big on those synonyms. Course. You know that. Oh, it's my turn. Olivia yes. is charged property taxes based on the value of her property. This is known as a sales tax, condemnation tax, ad valorem tax, or income tax. Mm -hmm. What say you? Ad valorem. According to value. Mm -hmm. According to value, ad valorem. So if Candace lives next door to me and her house is worth 500000 and my house is worth four fifty, she's going to pay more in property taxes because she has the more expensive home. <laughs> Janet's Curl Up and Die Hair Salon has operated on Baker Street since 1967. Wait a minute. Did I say Curl Up and Die Hair Salon? This is an actual name of a hair salon near my house, which is, I did not think of this. I thought it was cute, though. This year, the area, which used to be commercial, has been rezoned residential. If Janet's shop is allowed to continue to operate as a beauty parlor, what most likely has happened? Did Janet ignore the city officials and just kept showing up and cutting hair? Janet got a building permit. Janet's shop has been granted a non-conforming use. Or Janet got a variance. All right. Why is it C and not D, y'all? Because a couple people said D, a couple people said C. So the reason why this is a non-conforming use is because she's already been doing it since 1967. They changed the rules on Janet and she was allowed to continue to do what she was doing before. But if Janet had wanted to build her hair salon in an area that had not been approved for commercial use like this, then that would have been that Janet got the variance. Yep, she already had it before the change. Or it could have been a special use permit if they had allowed it in the, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the thing. But I guess that wouldn't be against the rules. All right, yeah. next one. Boom. The right of a government or its agent to expropriate. That's a terrible word. To expropriate pr private. And then you're going to put private property after it for public use with payment? Okay. Expropriate private property for public use with payment. Boo. Of a compensation is known as imminent domain, adverse possession, easement by prescription, or a sheet. I want you to say it, okay? I just want you to say that. Expropri expropriate. Yeah, it is. That is a hard word. Well, you got to do it with all the P's afterwards. Expro <laughs> expro expropriate uh, private property for public use with payment. Imminent domain. Imminent domain. There we go. I got go. set up, y'all. That was just, I got okay. All right, I'll do the next one. It's another long one. Sorry. It's a long one. It's not. Tony, a developer, likes wide open spaces. When building a new subdivision, he included a clause in the deeds to the properties he sold that stated no fences were allowed in the neighborhood. This is known as a deed conveyance, restriction, marketing technique, or subordination clause. Which one is it? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Deed Deep. restriction. Yep. There you go. Very good. Well Love done. It. All right, Candace, this one looks like a fairly easy one. Let's do it. <laughs> I can't complain <laughs> about my questions, but I'm just tired of it. Please, <laughs> man. All right. Beth has moved into a new home and have you... I can't read if you're making me laugh. All right. Beth has moved into a new home in Happy Acres subdivision. All of her neighbors' homes are built about 25 feet from the road. This is likely due to zoning rules in the city, county building codes, coincidence, or setback requirements and subdivision regulations. Mm. It kind of reminds me of that joke, why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? I don't know this joke. Because the P is silent. Oh, no. That's womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Yes, setback requirements. Remember earlier we were talking about the setback requirements. If I was the neighbor to Candace, there you go. All right. A valid exercise of the government's police power 
to restrict an owner's use and enjoyment of property includes deed restrictions. Now look, government, police power, y'all. Deed restrictions, deed conditions, building codes, or covenants. Kind of reminds us of that first question. What do you think? This is the government's police power. Everybody's hesitating now. We've got, there we go. Yes, the yep. building codes. Because it's the government, the other three are private things. There you go. Condus. Zoning codes and building restrictions are known as police powers, covenants and restrictions, powers that be, fiduciary powers. Hmm? What are you guys getting? Some A's. A's. Yes, A's. indeed. It is, is police A. powers. Police powers. All right. Dan sold his property to Tom. However, there's a blank in the deed that states that if Tom ever paints the house blue, the title reverts back to Dan. Is this license, concern, condition, or easement? Very good, you guys. Condition. All right, Condus. A developer must get a blank approved before building houses in a new subdivision. Is it a variance? Is it a planned unit development? Is it a title exam? Or is it a plat map? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Flat map. Flat map. Our neighborhood map. Yeah. All right, Candace, I think this one's yours. Okay. Jenny serves on her city's council. When the city council passes a law, it is called a, a or an. Is it an HOA disclosure, a covenant, assemblage, assemblage, or an ordinance? Jenny serves on her city City Council. Hey, we getting lots of D's. I think they know the answer is correctly. And then let's see, what do we want to say? You know, today we were talking about assemblage. So two textbooks that I have, and you see what you think. Two textbooks that I have defi define assemblage differently. I was always taught that assemblage is you take two pieces of land, put them together, and make one big lot. Like a, two acres mm -hmm. simultaneous to each other. And I combine them together and I make one bigger plot of land out of the two. And now it's one two acre lot, right? And then if it increases the value, then we call that plottage. But then I have a new book that I just got, uh, somebody sent me. And it refers to plottage as how I would describe assemblage. I'm Not, with you. I've maybe, always yeah. heard assemblage being just the putting them together. And yeah. plottage being the actual increase in the value. Yeah. Is okay. how I've always heard it. So that's, like, hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Diana, a developer, is working on an exciting new development in our community. It will include a mixture of housing, retail stores, and office space. What is this kind of development known as? It is a strip mall, a planned unit development, a plot map, or a condominium complex. What do you guys think this one is? Do you guys have these near you, Candace? We have a few of these. Yeah, kind we, of have a non we have a ton of them. It's North Carolina. Yeah. Planned unit development. We don't have a ton of them, but we have a couple of them. Like we have one near us um, that has like a library in it mm -hmm. and a grocery store and a pub. It's really cute. Oh, no, you have ones that have multiple grocery stores and libraries and schools and churches. Really? And, and movie theaters and yeah, restaurants and shops. So we have yeah. huge ones. No, we don't have a lot. We don't. All right. Uh, next up. Which oh, yeah. of the following would not be determined? By zoning laws and or regulations, would it be the way in which a buyer can take title, where buildings can be located, how big structures can be, or whether land can be used for commercial purposes? Get that word out. It's another P word. It's not working for me today. <laughs> it's what not, what would not be determined. So a which lot of people look like they caught not. that not. It is A, the way in which a buyer can take title. Next question. Jerry is researching the laws that regulate the types of uses or activities that can be undertaken in various areas of his community. They are called, are they surveys, building codes, flat maps, or zoning ordinances? I have been really obsessed with flat maps tonight on these, haven't I? <laughs> no, I think too much. I feel like I've seen flat maps a few times. All right. Zoning ordinances. Everybody knows that one. All right. Go ahead, Candace. Leslie has a restrictive blank in her deed that says the property cannot be used to sell alcohol on Sundays. Does she have a fixture, chattel, a covenant, a cooperative? Looks Ooh. like you can't fool them. Covenant. Everybody knew that one. Too easy. 
All right. The local zoning rules state that new construction of homes requires a 25-foot setback. Larry's lot size will not allow for this much of a setback without an undue hardship on poor old Larry. Larry will likely request A or and spot zoning, variance, deed in lieu of foreclosure, or freehold estate. Yes, indeed. This is the variance. Allen owns a property with riparian rights, but no prior appropriation rights. Which of these could he not do? Um, so boat in the water, use the water to irrigate his garden, swim in the water, or dam the water to prevent others from using it to hell with everybody else. <laughs> All right. So dam the water to prevent others from using it. The city of uh, Happy planning their yearly budget. Like most local governments, most of Happy Bill's operating money comes from where? Property taxes, state taxes, federal grants, or income taxes. What do you guys think? Property taxes, state taxes, federal grants, or income taxes? All right. Or a public opinion is saying A, and they are correct. Are correct. 